Angola would have been a stubborn side, but once we are playing at Barbara Sports Stadium, we don't lose matches there. So obviously, I expect. I don't think this Black Stars wants to be the first country, the first group of players to start losing at the Barbara Sports Stadium. So, I uh, goalkeeper and Delali will uh, let us know why uh, we settled on those goalkeepers. Loris Atizigi. Yeah, Barbara Man. Barra Man's own is that the player just needs to be available and the coach will call him yeah. because we need that. The, we need I, him. I, I, me, he, I've he said has, that. He scored in the qualifiers recently. Yes, we need yes. him. We need him. The truth, the, if you look at our squad, the only position that there's no competition is the left back. Mm. Guido Mensa doesn't have any competition there. Because if you look at the second options the coaches will bring, there are always players that would come and sit bench and mm. allow him to mm. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for, for Barbara Mount's own, Charlie, if I understand the guy, he really go through him. Yeah. And he doesn't, he's that kind of cool guy on pen once him, so he wouldn't want to come and jinx anything with a more of black stars. Mm. But I think Dennis, I think they will call Dennis because of the left back backup. Back up. I think. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the final episode here in our possible squad for the Angola and uh, Niger game. Ghana uh, versus Angola and also um, Niger in the AFCON qualifier double header. We're looking at the forwards today. We've done uh, defenders, goalkeepers, midfielders. Today is a turn of the forwards. Goal scoring has been a bane for the Black Stars in recent times, especially following the retirement of Bibi Jata Samoa Jan. But myself and Delali have put together some uh, competent guys to get us the goals we need. Strikers. Yes, yeah, strikers. Uh, the problem for Ghana national team. They'll be doing well for their club side. They'll come into the national team, and it's like they've not kicked the ball before. Why do you think that is? I think a uh, different system, not good enough. The coach is not good enough, like the old one. <laughs> 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 don't mind me, don't mind me. I think uh, sometimes it's the system, yeah. how they are deployed, because we are very notorious when it comes to misprofiling players mm. the person is a winger you go come go play i'm striker the person is a striker you go come go play i'm a winger, winger. that has been one of our problems well we'll dive into it straight away but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't click on that notification bell to get more updates let's do into it and uh, uh for the forward the first guy i mentioned or we put together is a uh, ransford yebwa connect stuffer uh, three goals in two games at the start of the season what do you think about him? If we are looking at and uh, considering form. the fact that his Afcon was not the best, his very first tournament, he, got, the he, one he was thrown the, into the wolves the then. And what do you think of him? And uh, oh, he's a good can player. he like, can he really that. prove himself for the? I've always said that he's a very good player. Yeah, he's also young. Like I think 20, 22, 23 years, very young, very prospect. He was viable for the under-23 squad, good, but good. he was not allowed to leave yeah. for the under-23 yeah. African Cup of Nations. Exactly. Yeah. He's a very young player. If you are look, if you are, if we think Kamal Din Suleiman and the likes are prospects, he's also one of them players mm. for the future. I think, unfortunately, the Afcon was not great, but he has come back very well for his club side. He's doing well. Good for him. The season started a bit earlier than the usual, and he has proven that he's a very solid player. At least based on the forest we have and some of the injuries we are, we are having i think uh Otuado should consider giving him a call up mm. and yaki williams uh great season with athletic global he comes to ghana and uh they, they don't spot his runs they don't uh i think find him or look for him i think uh his under Otuado would have been good but unfortunately, injury because of yeah, the, the glass in his yeah, foot. Yeah, he he's gotten it out now. Yeah, he's married, a newly married yeah. man. Blessing of marriage. Will yeah, we will, will favor him yeah. this time around. Come and play for that. Ghana. I think obviously solid striker. striker yeah. yeah, we we he needs he needs to work for him in Ghana because he's not a young player. He's not somebody that ages very friendly to him. But uh, no matter what it is. The guy will be in Otuado's squad. This one is Otuado's squad. <laughs> like, uh, it's strictly based on players we, we think Otuado would call. I think yeah. in, Inaki, Inaki Williams, obviously will get a call up. Yeah. Brendan Thomas Asante, so we so got so a so snippet of him for yeah. Ghana in that win, uh, mm -hmm. comeback win versus Central African Republic. What are your thoughts on him and uh, his but new move you know, to Coventry? Yeah, you know, often in Ghana, we, we are known for calling players and not even using them. Mm. But this guy got caught and played 
and I think that means the coach, the coach Somewhere is really impressed. A lot were impressed with yes, the first few yes. touches on the And ball. even for me at training grounds, I think the first day I watched him in uh, at Legon, I, I did a video and I, I, I said, if, if training grounds performance is this what is we are going guy. to use to judge him. This guy is well. it. And even people, because at the training grounds, a lot of people were even mistaking him for Semenyo. Mm. They really have a similar hairstyle. Hairstyle and... Yeah. Uh, and his it's movements were good, similar, similar to, to him. Yeah. Very aggressive, presses you. So I think he will, he will get a call up again. Mm, interesting. Ishaku. Oh, yeah. Debutant Ishaku. in the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. Ishaku. A great coach season in Leicester. He played two games under Otua, uh, Chris Whitton. Uh, sorry. Otuado. Otuado, yeah. I think he would call him again. And he showed his form to as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Jordan, are you? Yeah. Now is your number hat-trick. nine. The last time, the last hat-trick. time, Ghana scored hat-trick. <laughs> striker scored hat-trick. Senior striker. I uh, think maybe Jet has scored a lot of doubles, but never never a scored a hat-trick. Interesting. I think nine doubles, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. That's crazy. Never a hat-trick. Jordan, obviously your top level striker. He's going to be there. He has and, to uh, be there. He has to be there for yeah. you. He has to start. Oh, hey! hey. Right <laughs> Against he Mali, he didn't start. Came on and. God has the I think so I, against Mali, Otuado wanted to do something different. Different. It wasn't yeah, working yeah, out. Yeah, and he brought him on. He brought him on. And, and he made, he yeah. made an impact. Yeah, so. Osman Bukhari is the final one on our list here. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, he was part of the team. Yeah, unfortunately, he's, because he's of the, the MLS too. The MLS move. So he couldn't he play. To, yeah. So they have to uh, get him to settle down. Osman Bukhari is also one of the players that the coaches really like. Otuado really likes him. And I think... Uh, He's not a bad player. Mm. He's, he, he provides a lot of width and he's very direct. Yeah, direct, and, yeah. Uh, he's one of them players that <laughs> find goals as a winger. So his coaches always prefer to use him. So I think so far, unfortunately, Kamadini, I'm hearing that he's injured again. Mm. So I think because of that, they would, they would take him out. So he won't make the squad. So far, so those, those those look like solid forwards. Oh yeah, and should be able to get us the six points. Oh yeah, as for the six point, uh, we are getting me, it. Yeah, even <laughs> me and you cry with the new go player. Okay, so um, uh, that is it. There, our forwards have been settled on, and uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments box on it, this one here: Ghana versus Angola, uh, Ghana versus Niger. These are the forwards. If you missed the other episodes, you can click here and watch the midfielder zone it will take you to the defender zone as well Dalali thank you so much for joining me it's a pleasure I'll see you guys in the next one enjoy uh, the rest of your day